Hello there guys, this is Shrek296 uh, and this is going to be a tutorial on how to set up um, your solar panels uh, and your solar banks. Um, basically anything to do with solar um, is going to be covered on this, uh, this playthrough. Um, I'm not going to show you like my base and all that, this is going to be purely how to set up your solar panel system um, from battery banks equipment you need, skills you require, and basically the faults uh, and pickups that I found that have caught me out and spent me many of hour trying to work out why something wasn't working, only to find out that I wasn't doing this. So, and I've looked through the other tutorials that are on YouTube, there are some okay ones out there, but there's nothing that gets down to the bare roots of how to set, use this mod on Project Zomboid. So we're going to get straight into it. So the first things first, right, so I'll just give you a warning. Uh, I do have a solar panel unit over here, and you will see it pop up. Just ignore it, okay? So first things first, we need to have uh, a, um, a so-called a, a battery bank. Now, a battery bank is exactly what it says on the tin. It's a bank of batteries that stores the energy that you re receive from your solar power unit. You need one screwdriver, an inverter, electrical wire free of, scrap metal, uh, scrap electronics, my apologies, six of metal bars and small sheet metal five of. You need to have a skill of four in electronics and you need two in metal working. And you need to also have the uh, have found the book as well. So, further ado, what we'll do, we'll create the battery banks. I've got all the materials on me, because prior prep and all that kind of jazz. <clears throat> Speed up time. Ignore my character. He's a bit sad at the moment. He got bitten the other day, but he's got super immune, so he'll just have to get over it in 10 days' time. So, placing the battery bank down. Plank it there. So, once the battery bank's down... You have got two types of batteries, and I've got one of them. Two seconds. Thought I was all prepped this time. Where's my 200s? Here we go. One of them. Just had a very, very good, successful loot run. Right, so once the battery bank's made, you can place three types, so three types of batteries. So one of them's the 200, one of them's the 400, and one of them is called the DIY battery. And we'll go into the DIY battery in a second. Sure, I've just got one on me. Can a battery standard? Okay. So, a car battery from any car, truck, or piece of equipment, you can create something called a wired battery. So, a wired car battery, you can use them from so standard uh, to heavy. Uh, and what you'll do, once you have four of these wired batteries, then you can create something called a DIY battery. Um, and then the DIY battery even can be placed in here. You can't put standard batteries from cars inside here. They have to be either DIY or these. Um, as you will see, you can't put it in. You can put wired batteries inside here, so just a single one, but you'll only have um, 50 storage capacity. So that's 400, that's 200, whereas that one will only be 50. Um, so you need four of them to combine together to make a DIY battery. Right, okay. Once the batteries are inside, um, then the next process is to go onto outside. Either it can be on a roof, put on the outside of a wall. Do you know what? Make things a lot easier for ourselves. What we're going to do, we're going to put it on the wall this time. So wall mounted. He's sorting his life out. Okay. Place it. Of course, you're going to be a struggle. 
And it won't let me rotate. Of course it won't. Right, what we'll do, just plonk it here. We'll just go up the ladder. <sighs> Trying to make some things easy. Project Zomboid goes out the side. Right, so we've got the bloody solar panel all ready rock and roll after messing about. Now, you can go from the battery bank and connect to the solar panel, or you can go from the solar panel to the battery bank. Now, this is what I'm saying. So if you've got more than one battery bank in the area, so I've got a battery bank inside this room here, if you've got more than one... It's not. So you don't know which one is where. So it's easier to go from the battery bank to the solar. So battery bank, connect to solar panel. Of course it won't. You absolutely. Oh, there it is. But, while this is doing this, you can clearly see the range. So this is over here, and my battery bank is over here. So that was wirelessly able to connect from that distance. So you can get a fair old distance of your, your power units. Right, once that's connected up, we're going to go down and do a, do a system check very quickly. So just close the door a second. So battery bank, open status window. So we have positive charge. We have it from our solar panel. It's going to the battery, but it's feeding into the utilities inside this room. We don't have any. I think one one light. What do you know what we'll do? Correction. Right. So once this is all set up, so you can see that we're producing. So we have a capacity of 800 uh, hertz um, in our so that is them two combined. We have one panel on the roof connected, the maximum panel output, so the panel was producing 28 hertz, and the total power consumption at this time within this room is 16 hertz. And you can update it, you can click your debugging on as well. So when you click your debugging, it shows you like what, so generators in range, there are no generators in range, even as one there. So it can be a bit finicky. Now, Make sure you turn your battery bank on. This is a <laughs> this is messed me up before. So turn it on. We have a generator sound, and that means now it's on. Now we're going to grab a generator. Now the other one. So I've left. Uh, That's the reason why I did this. So you got a generator there. You got a generator there. This generator here is connected. So it'll inadvertently affect that generator for now. So disconnect the generator. So I found out this all the hard way. And it's, it's a painful, very steep learning curve when you're not sure why things are not working. Because it's very finicky. It's a great mod, but it can be finicky. So take the generator. Obviously you put it outside because you don't want to gash yourself out and kill yourself. So, go away you. Drop. Connect the generator. Okay. Once the generator is connected, go over to the status page of the battery bank. And you should, yes, it's now, it's now uh, receiving that the generator uh, is within range. Now, why is that important? So, say for instance, you've got uh, this shed and your in input to output is higher. But in the evening, at night time, obviously no sunlight, no energy is produced. So then it goes back to the batteries. Um, and if you haven't got enough batteries, or say for instance that you've got more outgoing, so say for a few fridges in here and a few TVs, before you know it, the output is 
be is taking more uh, than what I'm receiving. So what you can do, you can set up uh, as a backup system or a fail safe your um, your um, your generator. Just move this bad boy out of the way. This is the worst place ever. I'll grab that as well. Out of the way. Drop. Drop. Right. So how what you do, how to set up your generator that's connected to there, um, you need to do a bit of wiring. So one of the things you've got to do, so a normal, um, do you remember what was talking about the wired battery that you've got to create? So the wired battery is screwdriver, electrical, and one of the different kind of car batteries. So we are short on electrical, of course we are. Spare me a second. I don't generally make videos, guys, but it was one of those things that I come across so many times when I was trying to find a decent video to find out how to use the mod, and nothing was really out there, so I decided to do one. Right. So, craft, wired battery. So once you have your wired battery, the next thing you need to create is a create a solar failsafe. Now, I will warn you on this one. This is a bit of a bugbear of mine. So you've got to have, so you've got to have a level three remote control. So if you guys are not aware of how to make one of those, you need to have level six electronics, or you've got to find them. They are quite hard to find. Um, I've been playing on this for a solid week in real lifetimes. And I've only found two of these bad boys, and my electrical skill is only level five, so I still can't build them. So that's, I was very lucky to find one. Um, we've made the, the wired car battery, two electronics, and a screwdriver. So what we're going to do? Creating that now. And once it's created, you can place it down. Now, once you've placed it down. The only way to pick the bad boy up is by using these. I've, I'm in the right clicking, trying to pull it across, moving the generator, and nothing worked. But you have to place the generator down first and then wire it in, um, which it's done automatically. Now, if we go over to the status window, we are now connected. So. We start putting fridges in here. That battery bank will reduce uh, in the amount of energy it's got in the batteries. Once it's depleted or it's low to virtually empty, the generator will automatically kick in and it will then recharge so it'll keep the, the power going throughout the night. You can update. Um, so if I got a TV or a fridge, I'm not gonna do it, but I'm gonna show you the other battery bank very quickly. Ignore the crap, it's just a shit everywhere. <clears throat> so, my battery bank in here. Oh yeah, so more batteries you put inside, guys, the more the rack will go up. So I've got some pretty decent ones there. Um, now, if we go to the status bar for this battery bank, um, you will see that I've got over 3,000 capacity. I've got two solar panels on the roof. My maximum output from the solar panels is 56. But I've got 251 um, volts being drawn by two lights, a fridge, and a popsicle, two fridges downstairs. Um, but I am uh, with, which, which is drawing power from the battery banks. So my generator is outside. So where? So and it's got another 36 minutes. So. Speed up time. It's reducing down, reducing down, and it kicks in. And it's as simple as that. So, and it, I have noticed from, so my time playing in the game has been approximately one month and 18 days. And I've had to fill my generator. Let's have a look at the generator. So my generator, fuel's getting a little bit low. It's got five days worth. But I've had to fill this twice because 
how much um, the solar panel units have got the weight. And I've literally just come back from doing um, uh, uh, West Point run. I've gone into the industrial area and I've just found um, five to uh, five to six of these solar panels, which I'm going to tear down now. And after this video, I'm going to put them up there along my uh, along my roof. So um, we should be uh, should be laughing. I hope that helps you guys. Um, I found it very hard um, not understanding what needs to be done on where and when and how the batteries worked. And yeah, um, the, the biggest thing that I think you guys are going to come across is definitely the remote control, the version three. Um, if you're not a level six and you can't create your own, it's going to be a case of you're going to have to fault find and you're going to have to search houses and find. Uh, and uh, um, most of the people that like to make uh, the survivalists that make explosives. Uh, you can normally find them in their houses, uh, or you can find them in some uh, some warehouses now and again. But they are uh, few and far between. But other than that, it's a it's a it's a lovely little mod, and uh, especially the interface. It's changed definitely compared to what it was before. Before it was just text, whereas now you've got a little interface and bug find, and you've got yeah, it's it's a lovely it's a lovely little mod, and uh, credit to the creator. Um, any questions guys by all means ask away and I uh, hope this video helps you